A lot of people don't know that it has really been a painful journey with my acne because I started having acne when I was a teenager, um, probably 16, and that's when my acne started to appear like all over my face. And my acne used to be really, really bad, and every time I would get like a zest or a pimple somewhere, I would become depressed. And because my skin was so bad, and I had a lot of acne, and I had a lot of pimples, I was really Really desperate so I went to a dermatologist the dermatologist checked my skin and she did give me some creams and some soap that I had to use and also some toner so basically she gave me skincare products but it was really expensive and I was a student then I didn't have money and I couldn't continue using her products so I found another alternative. I found these like Chinese skincare products that promises to get rid of your pimples and you know will make your skin really smooth and shiny and things like that. And of course it was a lot cheaper, very very cheap. So I tried that and then I bought the product. And one thing I didn't know was that some of these like Chinese products that are sold in the Philippines, they are so bad and some of them are damaging to the skin. And instead of actually like making my skin better, it had the opposite result. And then my skin got worse as years went by. So while I was in university, my skin was so bad. And since I was desperate again, so I did the shorter fix. I did a shorter route. So I started taking birth birth control pills for my pimples. So I heard a lot of people saying that birth control pills is good for your skin and it's also going to help with hormonal acne and hormonal imbalance and things like that. And a lot of my friends said so as well. It was also recommended by my OB for my irregular menstruation and so I started taking it. And I think the very first birth control pills that I tried was Althea. But that birth control was so bad, the side effects on me was not good. I would always feel irritated. I would always have like a bad headache and I couldn't understand what I was feeling. So I had to stop it and I had to tell my doctor that I didn't like it and then she prescribed another one and it's called Dayan. So I was using Dayan for a few years. It was it was better than the other birth control pills that I tried. So less symptoms and less side effects. No more pimple, no more acne. My skin was also better and um, the scars and the spots from my pimples and from my acne also got better. So I was really happy but as years went by I also noticed like some side effects from the pill so it got so bad and actually I have a video of why I stopped taking birth control pills so please watch that video the link is up here so watch that video first and then come back here to finish this video I also noticed that when I was on birth control pills, I was really heavy. So it was very easy for me to gain weight because I couldn't stop eating. I would always want to eat sweets. And that's probably another reason why I stopped taking the pill. And of course, my pimples came back and also the acne problem came back and got worse again. So when I came back from Thailand to the Philippines, my sister introduced me to Kevlo because my acne got worse again because I stopped taking the pill. So I'm going to introduce you guys. So these are the Kevlo products. So this one is their soap. Um, I like this one. I still use it. And this one says ultimate whitening soap. This one is good because this is for anti-aging and anti-wrinkles and things like that. And the ingredients are all natural. So it's got coconut oil. It's, um, it's got fruit extract, licorice root extract, which is very good by the way. Um, it's got bearberry extract, cocoa butter, um, jojoba oil. It also has glutathione and collagen, um, arbutin, and vitamin C and E. And um, they also have, uh, this is their exfoliating cream. So the exfoliating cream you're going to use like twice a week, okay? Only twice a week because you cannot exfoliate every day. And uh, they also have acne cream. So sometimes when I get acne, I use this because it's very effective. I like Kevlo products. And um, 
They also have a sunblock cream. So this one is a collagen placenta sunblock cream and this one is SPF 70. And yeah, the ingredients are also really natural. So this one's got it's got shea butter, it's got collagen, and no hydroquinone and no mercury. So that's very important. So if you guys want to try Kevlo products, uh, you can buy it from their website. I think um, it's also available on Shopee and also Lazada. But my main concern then was also the scars because I still had a lot of scars, kind of like a little holes on my face because of my, the pimples, because of the acne that I scratched before and it created a kind of like little hole that's really unattractive and not nice to look at so I was really worried about that and so I tried microneedling so you asked me Jeremy what is microneedling and what's the benefit of microneedling microneedling is going to improve the appearance and texture of your skin it can also minimize stretch marks scars wrinkles and other skin concerns so it doesn't carry the risk of skin discoloration unlike some facial rejuvenation procedures that use heat, light, or lasers. But the problem you guys after you do the procedure, after you do the microneedling thing, your face is going to be so so red and you won't be able to go out probably for a few days. Once that heals, your skin is going to look a lot better. Um, I've tried it maybe three times and it really helped with the appearance of my pimple scars and my acne scars. And then of course you know that I started supplementing collagen. Collagen has a lot of benefits to our skin and I have made a few videos about collagen especially with Shiseido collagen and if you want to watch that video the link is up here. Please go to that video and watch that video because in that video I talk about how I achieve a beautiful and younger looking skin with Shiseido collagen. In my other video, How to Achieve Glass Skin, um, the link is up here. I also talked about supplementing glutathione to improve your complexion and to improve your skin tone. And not only that, glutathione also can get rid of your pimples and your acne. And that's why I am also talking about glutathione in this video because if you are suffering from hormonal acne and hormonal pimples, I think it's a really good idea to supplement glutathione because that's going to help um, make your pimples better and that's going to help get rid of your hormonal acne and your hormonal pimple. For glutathione supplements, you guys, I really recommend now glutathione though. I think it's really effective. When I take now glutathione supplements, I don't get pimples at all. That's how effective it is. And I really want to help you get rid of your pimples. So go to the iHerb website right now, you guys. The link is down below. And also, don't forget to use my promo code JER0547. And if you use my code, you can also get a discount. So get your now glutathione from the iHerb website. Link is in the description down below. And take advantage of the discounted prices today. My skin is a result of years and years of painful acne, um, years of very low self-confidence, embarrassment, humiliation, you name it. That's why I made this video for you guys so that you will have the determination and courage to face this challenge because you can get rid of your pimples and you will have a clear skin. And also make sure that you take some supplements. So for me especially, I like to supplement glutathione, collagen, and USANA fish oil. USANA fish oil is really good to help with your pimples as well because it is omega-3. So if you do all of this, eat healthy, eat fruits and vegetables, exercise, choose the good skincare products, and also take supplements that are good for your skin, I can assure you that you'll be saying goodbye to your pimples in no time. Well, that is it, you guys, for this video. Thank you so much. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And also, don't forget to comment down below if you have questions or if there are any topics that you'd like me to do. Also, don't forget to share this video on your socials. And don't forget to subscribe down below. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye! 